All right, this video is all about making the light switch plate. And this is going to be for a single light switch, um, your basic standard light switch, uh, all the dimensions I found online. So hopefully they're going to match uh, whatever light switch that you have um, that you're making your project for. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off. Um, what I'm going to be using is... Uh, what you guys have this um, this information right here so you have your front view your side view which is going to give you your extrusion uh, your top view which gives you your chamfer uh, your isometric view so you can see what it looks like and then over on the side I'm also including all the hole information uh, this is some standard screws that I found online Hopefully these are the screws that uh, you have. If not, you can go ahead and get the screws. Um, they should work fairly well. Uh, if you end up 3D printing your light switch plate, uh, it's made of plastic. If the holes aren't perfect, usually you can get away with it somehow um, or make your own holes with a drill or something like that. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna be using. It's gonna be off screen, uh, but you're going to be able to follow along with all those dimensions as I go through the entire project. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start a sketch on my front view. Okay, I'm going to flip to a 2D view and I'm going to get rid of my planes. Okay, um, now the basic shape of a light switch plate is a rectangle, so I'm just going to kind of draw out the rectangle. Now my um, my top here, this is going to be 2.75. Now this is just a standard light switch plate. Uh, and the height is 4.5 inches. Okay. And it's as simple as that. Now we just need to extrude it. Okay, I'm gonna use my extrude tool. Click on the face here, and that extrusion is 0.375. Now that uh, that's a thick enough extrusion, so how much it's coming off of your wall. Um, you know, you can always play around with that a little bit. You don't want it to be too obnoxious where it's like really coming out at you. Um, you also have to think about, you know, how big your switch is. So um, you don't want it so thick that the switch doesn't come out of that hole. So 0.375 is a pretty good depth there. Okay, we we'll go and finish it, and look at that. We already have our shape of our light switch plate forming. Okay, uh, the first hole I'm going to create is the uh, hole for the actual switch itself. So I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane. I'm going to switch my view again, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle around the center of it. Doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to end up dimensioning that anyway. Okay. Now, this uh, top part right here is 0.375. Okay. Side here is one inch. And there you go. Okay. Now, I put it towards the middle, but it's not perfectly in the middle. So we want to make sure that we're taking care of that. Um, to do that, I'm going to use my dimension tool. Uh, from the bottom of the hole for the switch, the bottom of my light switch plate is going to be 1.75. Okay, now that's going to center it up and down. So if I were to check what the dimension is from the top to the top, notice that that would be 1.75 as well. If I like click it, you'll see. Okay, but I don't want to add that dimension because it's going to over constrain it. So I'm just going to make sure that we've got it. Okay. Now from the side, Okay, so from here to here, I actually forgot to include that on your um, technical drawing there. And so what we really have to do is a little bit of math. So we have that 2.75. Uh, I'm gonna actually do the math here because I don't have it on me. So 2.75 uh, minus the 0.375, and then divide that by 2, and you have 1.1875. There you go, that's going to put it right in the middle. If you were to check this, I'm going to click here and click here. Notice you're going to get that same dimension. Uh, it's saying 1.1875. Uh, 
it's rounding up here, so you don't need to worry. That is correct. Okay, so I'm going to delete that because, once again, I do not want to over-constrain my sketch. So I'm going to delete that. Okay. So that's perfectly in the middle, which is great. We can finish that sketch. We can extrude it. So using the extrude tool, I'm going to click on what I want to extrude. Now, instead of extruding out and adding, we're going to then remove. So we're going to take that out. Um, or an inch, but that's more than an inch, so that's fine. We'll just leave it there. Um, you could technically do this through all, but it's going to go through all either way. Um, and then hit that check mark. All right. Now the next thing we need to do is add the screw holes, which will go about here and here. And so we're going to create a whole nother sketch on the same front plane. I'll change my view here. Now when we're creating holes, remember we use the point tool first. Now what I recommend doing is what you're going to see it do, so you notice like when I drag over here, we get this yellow line that shows up. That's actually really useful because if you get that yellow line, it's actually going to constrain it right in the middle, which is where you want it. You want it lined up perfectly in the middle of this uh, hole right here. So I'm going to get that yellow line. It's going to save us a whole step, and I'm going to click. Now there's one above, and then there's also got to be one at the bottom. So I'm going to do the same thing and get that yellow line and click again. Okay, so now I got my two points. And now I got to set up the dimensions for those points before I turn them into holes. Okay, so I'm going to dimension that. Um, the first dimension I have is from the top point to the bottom point is 2.375. I know these sound like weird numbers. Um, but these are, you know, fractions and mixed numbers, so that's why it turns out this way. Okay, so that's 2.375. Um, I think the best way to measure the rest of it is by going from the point to the center here. And the reason I say that is when you guys are working on creating a light switch of your own, if you don't want to use the basic format that I'm showing you right now, and you want to create your own shape, what you're going to be working with is this hole and the holes around it, and then everything else is going to be its own. So I'm going to dimension from here to here, so you have it later on if you choose to uh, change your light switch plate so it's not the basic rectangle. Okay. Um, and once again, I kind of forgot to do this so uh, in the technical drawing, so i got to do a little bit of the math again. So we have 4.5 minus, so 4.5 is from the top to the bottom. I'm going to subtract the 2.375, and then I'm going to divide that by 2. I'm getting 1.0625. So from here to here is 1.0625. That's not right. <laughs> uh, now I'm trying to think of what I did wrong here. This is exactly what I did the last time. So let's try this again. 4.5 minus 2.375. Uh, this is 0.53125. That's not right either. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I did wrong here. What you just love when you're making it, and then you can't really think of what what it is. I know I'm hitting a weird number here. That is point six. Eight seven five. Like right here. From here to here, I gotta get my dimension to it. So from here to here is point six eight seven five, and that looks right. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. I got I'm getting all my numbers mixed up. So I'm glad I'm actually making this video because I'm sure some of us are struggling with that too. Okay. Um, so now if I go from here to here, I should get the same amount, so 0.6875, okay? So that's exactly what we want because it's going to be um, 
you know, symmetrical on both sides of this hole for the switch. Okay. Apologize for the extra minute and a half where I was messing that up. Okay. So now I got my points. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to go into 3D view. Uh, here's my hole tool. So I'm going to click on my hole tool. I'm going to click on my two points. Um, because I've actually done this already as a demonstration in class, all of my stuff is saved, which is nice. So just some things for you to check. You want counter sink. Um, a lot of the uh, screws for this are angled, and so you want that counter sink. Uh, you're going to go through all. Um, your diameter is 3 sixteenths of an inch or 0.188. Uh, your counter sink diameter is 0.262. And then your angle is 82 degrees. Now, I just kind of looked up some, you know, basic screw information for that. If yours are different, you can always change that hole. You just have to look at what kind of screw you actually have. Okay. Um, and so you can change that accordingly. So I'm done with those holes. I can finish that. It's a very boxy shape. Um, this would totally work. Um, but we're, we're there's two more steps that we really want to do here. Um, the first one is adding a chamfer. It really kind of makes it look a little bit nicer. And so when I hit my chamfer button, I can click on all the edges. Um, notice if I if I just click on the front here, it's going to select everything. I don't want to chamfer this stuff, so I want to make sure that's just on the line. So I'm going to click on all the lines that go around my object. There you go. And I have it set at 0.2. You can play around with that number if you want, or you can just keep it there. 0.2 looks good to me. Uh, when I hit the check mark there, if I were to kind of change my angle, you can see that that actually looks pretty good. Um, that's what that chamfer button does. Okay. And so I have that nice shape with the chamfers around the edges. Now the last thing we want to do is we want to shell out the back. And so if I were to rotate around the back here, you'll notice it's solid face back here. Um, if your wall is not perfectly flat, it's going to kind of knock it off a little bit, right? It's going to like make the bottom stick out or the top stick out of the side. And so if you actually shell that out, it can sit flush against the wall and it's going to look nice. Um, it's more likely to sit flat. So we're going to use the shell button here. And I'm going to click on the back of my object. Shell thickness of 0.1 should be okay. Um, I mean, truthfully, you could probably go a little bit more, especially if you're 3D printing. Um, you can play around with the thickness of your, your finished level. Um, but if you give yourself a little bit more space, let's see what 0.2 looks like. It's like, you know, it's thicker, but that also means the top is going to be a little thicker too. Um, Truthfully, the 3D setting should take care of that. So go anywhere from like 0.1 to 0.2. Maybe I'll just compromise right in the middle at 0.15 inches. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit that chat mark. And there you go. It's shelled out. And so this is your basic store-bought light switch plate that you can go buy for about 25 cents or whatever it is now. Probably a dollar. Um except now it's just whatever whatever material you're going to print with, so like PLA, PLA plastic or um, something like that. Uh, so there you go. There you have it. That is your light switch plate demo.